Hey guys, Pretty here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 and our Rags to Riches series here at New Woodshire. So here we are for another episode where we're gonna get um, some more cotton seeded here. Gonna hire a worker to get this done. Um, I did seed all this field, but I seeded it with potatoes. No idea why. Why the hell would I put potatoes here? I don't know. I must have pressed Y accidentally and um, it started to seed potatoes. We're still doing cotton, so that's the main thing. Got our um on bold. We've got our canola field here ready to go. So let's um get this set up. Go hire a worker as well. Because we're gonna put down um diesel production. We're not going to do this guy. We're not going to do the big massive one. I have sold it and I put um, the 225 back in our account that we spent on this because this is way too big. Uh, we're going to go for this smaller guy. So it's going to be a lot better for us. I feel like um, we can put like another cow barn over here. I'm going to leave this sort of open. Maybe another couple over here. I was thinking of putting this I don't know, I was thinking like down the back corner here somewhere. Just sort of like out of the way. Um, yeah, I don't know, like over here somewhere. So we still get around it and then hopefully put in some more pig barns as well. Well, let's have a look at um, the pig barns first. So these ones are pretty big. Um, I think we might we might even only get like one in here, and then like another big one over there. We could put one here, one back there, and put the diesel production in the middle there somewhere. Sort of put it through into here. I think somewhere in the middle. Uh, it wouldn't be too bad an idea. Hmm. So something like there, that'll do. So in wraps, out diesel, and out Schwein Futter. Whatever that is. I assume that's um. Assume that means like pig feed. So there we go. So that's those two done. That put in there. Let's go in here quickly. Well, we've got 50,000. And grab our large pig barn. I said, I think we'll put one like over here. And we can put one sort of up the back here as well. So let's, um, I think, yeah, I think we'll be able to get one in here. Something like that. There we go. So there we go. So there's two little ones, a big one there, and maybe another big one here. Um, we should still be able to get another small one in there, I would think. So water, slurry, as per normal. Door, which I don't think we can open. It's our feeding side and our animal loading side. A couple of extra doors which we can't open, of course, but um, I did re-level the whole area out, so that should help us a little bit, getting all that sort of sorted out. So I just had a message come through on my phone, I thought it was someone else, but it was Red Rooster. <laughs> Weird. Um, so yeah, so we'll get that into there. We need to get some... Um, food into here, or some canola into here, and our pigs over here are still hopefully happy as Larry. Uh, where's our productivity? Cleanliness is still good, water, straw, all that sort of stuff. I think the cleanliness may drop a little bit, but well, that's fine. We'll grab our tractor and we'll grab our trailer, that way we can start um, unloading. A 
I'm loading it out. Straight to the pole. Probably should move that, shouldn't I? Might do that now before I forget. Uh, yeah, you, you, you can go somewhere else. Alright, we're back in here, we'll grab our trailer. We still need some money. I know a few people have said, stop spending money, but you, know, you need to spend money to make money, so. Unfortunately, that's um, part of life, but a part of business. Okay, you've got to spend it to make it. Right, so we go to do 10, right alongside him. Get him empty. The other guy over there should be doing his thing. Yep, Andy's pumping away over there. I know he's missing a little bit. It's probably in this rough part of the ground, I suppose. So another big pig barn there, another little one over there. I think that'll be good. So we don't have any money to buy any more pigs, but we should still be... Uh, we've got 31 pigs now, so we've had a few babies born, another one in 45 minutes, so... Okay, we're getting there. So let's take this canola over and we'll uh, drop this off and see how it goes. So I've re-leveled the area out a little bit, so I'm hoping I've smoothed it out enough. We should have. Let's come along here and go unload. Okay, that's not registering. Registering. Registering from there. There it is, 5467. So it did register on there, that's good. This other side was slowly, there you go, slowly starting to fill up with some peak feed. And we'll be good to go. We'll be able to start feeding our pigs, I hope. Um, how are we going with soil composition? We need to it's sort of gone all weird, that field. I don't know, I don't know what happened over there. It's really strange. So one other thing I did want to get done was set up another course recording to actually mow the fields, or mow the grass and that sort of stuff. So we can set up a course recording to do that, I think. Um, one thing I was going to look at though, uh, where are we? 11,000 for you. Yeah, we can't afford to... Buy that if we do that, we could possibly get. Why are they 12 meters and 18 meters? I don't know. Um, I always forget what this thing is. There it is. So we could buy this guy and use him to mow around our fields instead of the other tractor. Unload him again. I know he's probably not anywhere near full, but get him unloaded a little bit. Take what he has back down and continue to get that pig food production up. There we go. It's empty already, so we'll head down. We can always put in a ramp there too, I guess. Quite interesting trying to put a ramp down that way. I reckon I can get it done, but have to see how we go. So 5,000 litres in there at the moment. How much have we got around this side? 540, so not much. So we really need um, plenty more canola before we start getting too far, I suppose. So Andy's finished over here, which is good to see. Hold this up and just back away. I think we might um, have a look at our, our mowing. <coughs> oh, wait, sorry, guys. That was unexpected. Um, look at our mowing course. Get that sorted out. Put away first and I need to move 
move these bales out of the way again. Just give it to there. Might leave you in here as well, because you're a bigger tractor. Keep you locked up away from prying eyes. Um, yeah, these bales probably should go in here. Probably throw them all over into here and get them out of the way. I think that'll be a bad idea. So let's leave you there for now. We'll pick you up. Look, lag for days. There we go. Get you out of the way. Um, actually, can we? Is it lime in there? It's not lime in there, is it? No. Um, let's get rid of these bales. bloody things out of the way. Probably don't need that many for pigs that we have, but better than having to plant some some wheat or something and get some more bales out of it. So obviously with this grass that we're going to cut, probably we'll end up turning it into um, silage or something. I guess long term, which is a little, little bit more money for us to bring in. Um, someone also said that we can um, sell cotton at the barn up the top of the hill up here, but there's no sale price for it. Um, I don't think, I'll have to double check, but he said that um, you can actually sell it up there so. We all need to look at that as well, I suppose. See if we maybe get a bit better price up there. So we're sort of smashing the market with cotton down here and losing our price. Take it back up there, we might get a little bit better price for it. Alright, let's get this guy. These guys are out of the way. So I think I might need to look at as well. Um, a little bit of um, painting around here, putting some more grass and stuff back in. Obviously that's not um, needed to be done anytime soon. It's just more money that we're spending. No reward really. Oh, this is going to take forever. Need a quicker way to do it. Get these bloody things out of here. So, so all this grass eventually, I think we'll be able to turn it all into silage. At least I'm hoping so. Be able to sell it, make a little bit of extra cash and that sort of stuff, but at this point in time we'll just at least just get a mode every day I suppose. And um, that way you can keep building up on the ground and then when the time comes that we do actually want to make silage out of we're gonna have a heap of silage sitting on the ground ready to go. So Harvest is still over there doing his thing. Not having to worry too much about him. Which we're gonna need to be unloaded soon, I would think. This might actually shut you down instead of wasting fuel. This might actually um, yeah, go and unload after we chuck these bales in. That way we can get this whole course recorded without having to stop halfway through. So hopefully you guys have seen our um, John Deere New Woodshire Forestry build. Um, it's sort of, it wasn't a really in-depth one I suppose, it was like a real quick and easy one, but I still felt like it was a good one to do because a lot of the John Deere stuff that's just come out for forestry is pretty good stuff so being able to showcase that turn that into a build was um, something that I thought about doing for a little while and finally just got it done but I did call it the 10 million dollar John Deere forestry build we didn't spend anywhere near 10 million dollars but um, we had 10 million in the bank when we started so I think another one I want to do is maybe like a um, 
10 million dollar grain company I guess and um, maybe Western Australia map or something like that I think that would be too bad an idea start off with 10 million dollars and um, buy like two or three harvesters and some big John Deere tractors to be able to plow and cultivate and all that sort of stuff so seed everything that we need to do right, so we'll unload this guy but we won't take this trailer and tip it off yet because it's not going to be full we'll let him sort of get through the rest of this stuff See if we can go back to here and start um, course recording. Let's go start course recording. Get all this area mode and then save the course. Then we can actually just get him to come and do this every day while we're off doing our own thing. I think obviously once we've got it all mode we'll probably have to record another course to come back and actually um, like windrow it and that sort of stuff but that's um it's a long way away yet don't have to worry about windrowing or anything right now so we'll go around that field as well because that's a lot more extra grass that we can use for our silage eventually we get to that stage where we're going to start making some silage I have a different think yeah this grass is growing again I think I did modify the grass in there but that's not going to grow I don't think but that's fine a little bit will grow but not much so I'm not going to worry about going in there and mowing that just leave that sort of as it is. Certainly like to get um, the mower that runs behind the tractor instead of off to the side. But this thing sort of still does the job. So can't complain at all I suppose. So once he's finished, we'll get um, the rest of that canola chucked into there, and then we'll get that um, field recultivated, uh, reseeded. I don't know if we'll actually need to cultivate. I think we can seed directly. Maybe. Not quite sure. Actually, I don't think we can because we had to. Um, no, it says you can sow fields with a planter. Where's our seeder? I think we might have leased it. Yeah, we don't have to cultivate, so that's good. We can just seed straight away. Do a run down this way. I don't think we'll be able to get another run back. That ground certainly needs to be smoothed off, leveled out a little bit. So hopefully you guys have been um, enjoying the series so far had some you know, good feedback and that sort of stuff, some ideas from you guys which is always um, well received and, and appreciated. I do read every comment, I try to reply to all of them, if I don't reply I usually give you like a thumbs up or a love heart or whatever, um, but if I do happen to miss a comment or whatever, don't take it personal, I just might have overlooked it, depends on, depends on how many comments we get, sometimes we get a lot, sometimes we don't get many, so we're at that time we were sort of getting a heap of comments might might unfortunately miss one so um, yeah and hopefully you guys have seen the channel update video that I've released as well sort of explaining how um, the channel's gonna go for the rest of this month and probably the future for the time being with um, our releases so FS19 will be three episodes per week one of this series one of John Deere series, one of 
our Hawks Bay New Zealand series um, and around about 45 minutes per episode they will be so hopefully you guys are okay with that uh, when I did explain the reason why um, in the update video so if you guys haven't seen it go and check it out um, I don't, don't really want to go explain it every single time I record but I think I did explain a little bit more on the Rags the Riches John Deere series the reason behind it and that sort of stuff but um, yeah, go and have a look at the channel update video and um, hopefully damn it, hopefully that'll um, Reverse. Um, hopefully that'll explain the reason why I've had to drop back a little bit with the videos. Hope that's not going to cause the drama. I should have gave myself a bit more room. Um, so yeah, check it out if you haven't already. Um, channel's still going really well, we're nearly at 15,000 subscribers, I still need to do a giveaway for our 10k, I know you guys have been waiting for that, I sort of just haven't had the time, uh, I guess all the finances to be able to buy a couple of FS19 keys to be able to give away to you guys, um, but it's definitely in the pipeline, so it's going to happen, it's just a matter of um, when I can sort of, damn it, let me get pause, well, I can sort of make it happen, I did contact um, Giants directly, as I think I've mentioned before, but they, they weren't really keen um, to send me any codes to give away to you guys until I hit 20,000 subscribers, which, yeah, I thought was a bit strange, but that might be their policy, I don't know, but I thought it was a little weird that I had to hit 20,000. It's only an extra 5,000 subs, but I thought um, 15,000 subs would be more than enough for them to to want to actually, you know, help promote my channel and also their game, considering, you know, the amount of subscribers I've got from FS19. So, anyway, that's... um. It's their decision, I suppose. Right, I think we should be able to get away with um, leaving that there and be able to come back and continue to record that once we've unloaded this guy. Jesus. Yeah, we should still be going. Good. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the reason behind it, but yeah, I think I think we're still we're still definitely going to get the 15, uh, 10k uh, live stream and giveaway going, but it might end up being more like a 15k subscriber giveaway than 10k by the time it happens. But I'll certainly make sure it happens. I've contacted another company, um, which for another another game that. I will have brought to the channel by the time this episode is live. Um, House Flipper contacted Playway requesting um, a few keys from them that I can use as a giveaway, like a live stream giveaway event. So we'll see how how that goes. No guarantees, of course. Um, there's never any guarantees with trying to get free keys for me to be able to do giveaways and stuff, but I have um, sent them an email and ask them and um, see how we go. I haven't even been sent a free key for uh, Garden Flipper yet for House Flipper, which is disappointing as well. That's um, one thing bugs me a little bit because I've spent um, plenty of time on House Flipper and brought a lot of um, people to House Flipper before the game was actually released, like I was a beta tester for them, um, did a lot of live streams, 
done a huge amount of videos. I think I've probably done like 30 or 40 episodes of House Slipper. And um, gained a huge amount of subscribers and, and followers and stuff from House Slipper. And kind of disappointed that I haven't been given a free key, unfortunately. Um, there have been a few YouTubers out there that already have keys for House Slipper um, Garden DLC. And I don't want to be negative towards other YouTubers, but they, the way they sort of do their videos, I mean, it's entertaining, it's funny, and all that sort of stuff, but it doesn't really portray the game how I think it should be portrayed. Like, it's not really like a a review or anything. It's they're not playing it how it should be played. They're sort of just mucking around and doing stupid stuff and. And being funny, which I know it probably gets some, you know, the subscribers that they've got and the views that they've got, but, I mean, for me, I'm more of a, um, I don't know, I don't know what to say if I'm a professional gamer, because I'm not really professional, but I try to keep my recording and my gameplay and stuff, you know, true to the game and not, um, be stupid, do stupid things and that sort of stuff. I want to try and portray to you guys how the game actually is and how the game actually works and all that sort of stuff that way you guys can see firsthand how the game is and if you like the way it is from me playing it then I know you guys will purchase it too so but if, if they're sort of going to get in there and record an episode and not even play the game how it's supposed to be played I don't think it's really bringing any more viewers or anything to the, ch to the to the game or people potentially want to buy it because the game's good they're sort of just viewing it to have a laugh with the YouTuber and, and have a laugh at the game I guess but, um, yeah I don't know each to their own but so it's definitely not the way I would do it Seems struggling up here yeah certainly not the way I'd do it if I got a key early on but pre-release and could do like a first look same as um like diesel brothers and that like i got a first look at it i could have absolutely hammered the game for the issues that i had at the time but now i try and play it how it's supposed to be played and give you guys like legitimate feedback and try and be as i guess as positive as possible because i sort of hate I really hate being. I don't think that'll stop. I'll stop eventually. Um, I hate being negative towards games unless it really, really, really warrants it, which some games, I guess, do at times, but not all of them. This thing is really struggling. Right, let's go reverse. I don't know if this will actually work for the recording, but see how we go. But, um, yeah, sort of getting sidetracked. Trying to do things, two things at once, not easy. Yeah, so that I'm going to bring that game to the channel, and hopefully I can portray and showcase it in the way that it should be showcased, and sort of give you guys a real view of it, and um, and that way you guys will be able to look at it and go, yeah, you know, that game's pretty cool, I'm going to buy that. And um, see the game for what it is, not, you know, sort of have a joke. A joke about the game or whatever. Oh, this thing's struggling, really struggling. Yeah, so we'll get, um, get the harvest unloaded, get all this stuff put in to our big food production see how we go. I think we can start getting a whole lot more pink food put in to at least one of our one of our pig pens, one that actually has the pigs in it. And the other ones will um, get filled up when we can, I suppose. So we'll turn we'll go down the field. I don't know if there's any trees in the way here. I hope not. I 
makes it a lot harder to turn around with um, this mower sort of off to the side and up right behind the tractor. Because behind it, it'd be a lot easier for us to work around the fields and stuff. So I think this is I think this is like the last little bit we've got to do before we finish the whole mowing process. too far up getting this finished. We can go back to focusing on getting these fields done and stuff. Till tomorrow, I guess, the grass is grown for us to test this out and see if it works. Low grass area. Check, yep, good. Just lift it up, turn it off, pack it away, go and store it back over here out of the way. Might even just store it behind the shed here. Don't have enough room in that shed, I don't think, for everything. So this is tracked up and sort of stay there. Oops. Uh, where are you? You're here, I think. I don't think we'll have enough room in here to get all of it. We'll have to grab a little bit, go and unload it, and then come back. Uh, where's. Here he is. Let's open this up. We can sort of get it ready to go. We don't have to come back and cultivate the field and um, actually, no, just seed the field. We don't need to cultivate, just seed. There we go with diesel. 540 litres, that's good. I'll shut you down, I guess, because we can just. Bring this guy straight down, he can unload directly into there. It'd be much better if there's a grate on the ground with this solid or the pig fuel production and not just tipping it straight on the ground. I'd rather actually be tipping it into something where it looks like it's actually collecting the, um, the grain and stuff. Bales look bloody terrible over there. I'll drop you off and then we can put you away as well. So we'll reverse you all the way back down to the back where we had you before. Hope we've got enough room in here, we're going to need some more storage space. Soon. There you go. Should hoping we can get back there to get that um, cedar. Should be able to. There we go. Sneak out of there.
right, so I should be able to um, run into the fence. Should be able to go over here. So I'll line you up properly. And then um, start a course recording, but then hire a worker at the same time. Start course recording, go hire worker. It should record course while the worker does it. Then it should be able to copy it after that. Um, let's have a look at our fields again. Do we need need a bit of lime over there? A bit of fertilizer over here. Let's have a swing around. 5400 litres, so not bad. Still do it a little more, so we'll leave that there. Go and grab our um, fertilizer spreader and um, start to fertilize some things. So I've still got the, the truck and um, cotton trailer over there. We need to go and pick up as well. It's back at the shop. Need to pick that up, bring that back, and we can um, maybe look at um, I don't know if we'll be able to get this in one go. Let's let him go through. And I can hire, not hire a worker, but I can record this. Field eight it is. That's going to be in the way then. Might be. Here and we'll go start course recording. Speed up where it should be. Race him up the field. Set ourselves at 90 degrees. Yeah, I can see where I'm um, fertilizing, so that's good. Then we go up, turn around, and come back down again. ourselves at 270 again. Should be able to get this done and we can um, save this as well. So I don't know why I've missed so much there. Save this as well and then we can um, have them come and do it. We've got other things to do. They can come and do that themselves. Once this is fully done, then we can um, fast forward a little bit, get all that pig food production done, and um, deliver it over to our piggies over there. We're also going to need um, some way of transporting pigs as well. So that's something we're going to have to look at, which I think. Um, nine pigs, so we really need to go the big trailer, so we need like a truck and trailer set up sometime soon as well I should do one more run back down, I might have got away with not having to do it, but Swing around and do another run back down. We're not using too much fertilizer, so it's not really costing us too much. It's not very efficient, but it's not really costing us too much either. Alright, so we'll get this done and um, he's going to keep doing his thing. Don't know, we won't be able to get that. Um, Oh, that's why this it's already fertilized a little bit. I don't think we'll be able to get that fertilized until it starts growing to sort of stage one. Then we'll be able to fertilize it. So stop you there, we'll go done. 
save field nine fertilize. Done. Let's um go and put this back away. Find somewhere to put it, I suppose. Right next to the water. Oops. Stop running into things. Right next to the water trailer will do. We still need um plenty more storage space. Um, our spray is actually gone, so I did I did update our sprayer and with a new update and it's disappeared, so that's a shame. Yeah, 720 litres, so not bad. Back this in and we'll feed the pigs again. I might have a look at our um, Lean they are. I don't think. What are you on about? Um, did it change? It doesn't change. I'm not sure if I have like the whole pig cleanliness thing turned on or off. I'm not quite sure. Another 15 minutes, we're going to have another pig, so it's good. Come over to here, we can have a look at. Um, Maybe. Oh, I have to have it open. So they're worth a thousand dollars each to sell them. How did we get one of six thousand dollars? Probably for the use of the tractor, I would say. So I'll bring this back around and we can be ready to go again. Canola. So still a little bit of canola in there. Not a great deal, but a little bit. So this one, obviously not ready for pigs yet. Neither is this one. We'll get there eventually. Oh, this area here, if we didn't melt, we probably don't really need to. Field over here is growing again. Well, it's going to start growing. Noisy buggers they are. So we go over here to our um, field trailer, which is this one, I think. We go, uh, or is it this one? This one, there we go. Toggle service function. It shows you on the right hand side is where our service is. Um, we can't afford to service anything anyway, which is a bit of a shame. Because we're now in debt. We have a cotton bale in here, which you could probably um, get rid of. But we're pretty much right on our 45 minute mark anyway, so um, what I'll do is I'll end the episode here. I'll get this field finished um, seeding. I think we'll skip through to the next day. Um, we're everything ready to go, we can get ready for our harvest over here. Get ready for our harvest over here and continue to build on our our pig farm. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, if you've got any ideas, etc, etc. And if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.